Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to add server chat messages into your Roblox game. So to start off, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we just want to go to the top bar here, click on View, and click down on Explorer and Properties. So now that we've opened Explorer and Properties, we want to head over to Explorer and find Starter Player. Then we want to click the down arrow on starter player and click the down arrow on starter player scripts. We want to go to the right and click the plus button and insert a local script. So now that we've opened the local script, we now want to go over to properties and change the name of the local script. So we just want to go here, click on local script and we want to change this to, let's say, server chat messages. Just like that you can change it to whatever you want you can keep it as local script but for this tutorial i'm going to be calling it server chat messages now that we have changed the name of the local script we want to go into the script and remove all the previous script that was in there and now what you're going to want to do is go down to the description of this video and copy and paste the script that is in the description so now that we've inserted the script into the local script we now want to customize it to what we would like so you want to head up here to your text and change this text to any text you would like. So for example, let's say <clears throat> for this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing server subscribe to its on Scott Floppy Fish. Something like that. You can obviously do different. You could add server, uh, please like my game or server. Thanks so much for playing or server. Thank you for joining into my Roblox game. Something like that. So let's just go edit these. So let's just go here, remove the previous text. We want to change this to server. Or you can, it doesn't have to be server. You can also change it to system or maybe like a hint. Or, you know, if you want to give the player that is in the server a bit of a hint in the game or some like exclusive hidden perk that no one else knows about. It's really up to you. You, you customize it to whatever you would like. But here, let's just go ser server. Um, what should we say? Uh, hopefully, hopefully. This video is helpful, just like that. And um, then we just go to the your text here again, remove the previous text, and let's just go and say something else again. So let's just go server, like that. And we'll go space, and then what should we say this one? Uh, have a lovely rest of your day. Have a lovely rest of your day. Something like that. And yeah, that's really it. So that is up. To the text thing let's say you wanted to add maybe like a bit of a hint idea okay let's say we wanted to do that you could do it in the brackets you don't have to do it in the brackets it just personally I chose to do it in the brackets just because it looks a little bit better but you can completely remove all the brackets and just do hint um, find the coins around the map but for this tutorial I'm just gonna keep it as server we just remove all the previous code server oops have a lovely rest of your day it's going to keep it as that for this tutorial now let's say we wanted to change the color of the text because on the default i have it as kind of like a light blue color let's say you wanted to make it a white or a black you just simply uh, click on the um code here where it says color three dot new Click on that and you should see kind of like a preview of the color that is already set. So you can change this to whatever you would like just by clicking on the rain rainbow wheel. So you can you can really adjust it to whatever you want. You can simply click black there or you can go white by going up here or you can click like a, another kind of like light blue or red. Yeah, you can really ch customize the color to whatever you would like. And let's say you want to make this one maybe an, uh, an orange. You just simply change that to orange and that, that one can be like green or red or something. But that is how you can change the color of your uh, text. Now, let's say you want to change the font, okay? Because on default, I have it set to Source Sans Bold. Let's say you want to change it to maybe Arial, okay? We'll just go here, remove this and change it to Arial. Okay, you can really choose whatever font you would like. Um, just simply maybe find Google fonts, uh, have a bit of a look through there and then choose a font that you like and then just try find it if Roblox Studio has it. 
but that's how you change the font. So now if you do want to adjust the amount of time and how often the messages get sent in the server chat, for default, we have them set to five. So th this message here will be server subscribe to its underscore floppy fish. And then in five seconds, the next message will appear saying server, hopefully this video helped you. Let's say you wanted to make it 30 seconds. The, the, the message only sends every 30 seconds. We just want to go to the wait here and change this to 30. Obviously, you can change this to whatever you would like, but it, it really depends on how much of a gap you want between each message, each server message. It's completely up to you. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it as five. And if anyone is wondering, this does actually loop. So there's no need to have to go and duplicate all this like a thousand times because this while true do basically means the whatever is in between the while true do and end, it will loop. So if you wanted to add more server messages, all you want to do, you just want to simply go here to where it says game dot started GUI. And we want to highlight that part and only uh, stop highlighting, highlighting it when it gets to the wait five. Then we want to just make a new line below the wait five and insert that script. And all you want to do, you just want to change the text. And let's say you want to add another one. You just make a new line below the wait five and you just add another one. That it, it, It's really as simple as that. So now that we've edited the script to our preference, we now just want to go and click play at the top bar here. As you guys can see, server chat messages are now coming through chat. So as you can see, we've got server subscribe to its underscore floppy fish server. Hopefully this video was helpful server. Have a lovely rest of your day. And as you guys can see in about five seconds, this this whole process will live again. As you can see, it will say server subscribe to its underscore floppy fish server. Hopefully this video was helpful. And in a couple seconds, it should say have a lovely rest of your day. If you guys are a little bit lost or confused or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. But anyway guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.